Hi, it's Mr. Collie again, and in this video we are going to learn how to make this neon effect text. So, we'll start a new document, and we'll make it 400 by 300 pixels, like so, and make sure that it's set to RGB down here in colour mode. You'll give yours a sensible name, I'm just um, using this as an example, so and when your new document opens it's got a white background we want to make that black so down here in the color picker we click it and bottom left for black click down there click OK then go and get your paint bucket which might be hiding behind your gradient tool so you might have to left click and hold to get the options up and just click on your background and it will turn black next we're going to put the text in so click on my text tool and up at the top, choose your font. I'm using Arial Rounded MT Bold, which is a nice thin font, which is good for this effect. 100 points. Um, if you can't see the option, just type it in. Strong, and we want this to be white. So top left is white. OK, there we go. Now I'll click where I want my text to be. And I'll start typing. If it's not exactly where you want it to be, get the move tool and you can just drag it around now there are two steps to um, to making our neon glow here the first one is the glow and the second one is the colors so with the first one we'll set the glow I need to have my text layer selected like that and I will double click over here to bring up the layer style menu I will select the outer glow and tick that and watch what happens. Did you see if I deselect it, it adds a glow around the outside, an outer glow, strangely enough. Um, and we can just tweak that a bit by double clicking here to get the outer glow options up. And in the elements, the spread, let's make it 10. And the size, let's make it 10 as well. So that's about right. You can have a play around with this if you want. Change the spread out and you'll see what happens and the size same see what happens but 10 and 10 is about right for this effect so when you're happy click OK and now we need to put the colors on but we need to put the color glow on in a new layer so down here bottom right just follow the mouse because it's only a little icon next to the dustbin there's a little new layer icon so we'll click that and I'll just double click where it says layer 1 so I can change the name so you know what's in that layer there we go glow now I need my brush tool which is up here again it might be hiding behind any one of these other tools so left click and hold to get your options brush tool and I want a brush size of about 100 and the hardness of 10 there we go I need to select my glow layer first there we go so now I can use the brush tool and I'm going to pick a colour for it so down here in my colour picker I want a nice bright neon colour so we'll start with neon pink like so and I will just brush over the top of that don't worry that it's going everywhere I'll brush over the top of that first letter that's fine now I'm going to go back and pick another colour so let's go with a bright green top right is usually good for nice bright colours and you can overlap it like that Again, don't be too fussed about tidiness here. Let's go with a turquoisey blue. There. And we'll finish off with a yellow. There we are. So that looks a right state. However, what we can do with it to make it look like this is dead simple. All we do is up here with the glow layer selected we change it from normal to where are we color and that gives you your neon text effect have a play around with different colors have a play around with different fonts font sizes different size of glow and so on if you want to edit the different size of glow you can just double click here select outer glow and we can now play around with it with the colors on like so so 
So you can really go to town and have a play with the settings once you've got your neon working. So have a bit of a play. Off you go.